Morning guys, Jim Squares here bringing you some more solutions. Today is a money hack that provides a high amount of leverage for a low amount of work. Before I get there, remember to like and subscribe down below. It's always be helpful for the algorithm and help other people learn about this and help people get more for free, pretty much. Or what if your time, but your time is valuable. So let's let's get right to it. So first of all, I'm not an investment advisor, but I nerd out with math and free hacks. So that's something I always like to work out. Now, one thing that I did find was um, as I was going through an analysis of a 401k, so I talked to some buddies of mine who were, we invest a lot and we talk about investment options and ideas. And one thing came up was front loading. So here's what I mean by front loading. So you can contribute $19,000 to 401k. And most people, if they max it out, which I highly recommend trying to do, is, um, is they spread it out throughout the whole year so they can easily just, you know, so it's just easier for them to be used to that normal paycheck stream. Now, one thing that I, we did find out was if you front load it, which means you try to, you put as much of your paycheck as you can in your 401k in the early months and you max it out early. So if you think about that, if you think about the whole period of time, if you spread it out equally and you're contributing slow, small amounts, then that all those amounts are growing really slowly. But if you push it all into the beginning, and you, you've front loaded essentially as you put all of your $90,000 in early in the year, then it has the whole year to grow. If you assume the same rate of return, you, that means your money is growing longer. And if you do that over multiple years, you're getting your earning money. So for example, let's say you could max out your 401k in your first uh, month of work, which would be a ton. <laughs> so 19 grand, I understand, but this helps you understand the math and, um, and it, it does work out so but if you put if you front load and you put 19 grand into the beginning of the year um, then you will have an extra one thousand five hundred dollars at the end of the year and all you did is you put in the 401k up at the beginning now that's after your first year you've already earned an extra grand and you didn't do anything you just put in the money and you let it run after three years you have an extra 10 grand or more so it's ten thousand dollars so you've got 50 percent uh, rate of return easy you didn't have to do anything. Yes, if the market goes down, yes, you're going to lose. But the market goes up on a general trend. If you look at the whole trend, it's always going up. Yes, you could have COVID hit and you would have lost some. But guess what? When COVID hit, it went down and it's back to where it was before. So it's even higher. So don't give me your excuses. So if you actually do some research if you're looking at that. But after three years, you have 10 grand more. After five years, you have 19 grand more. So you've, you've gotten that extra money in your whole time. So if you do the math, it does work. Now, the one key thing you want to ask before you do this is you want to go to your HR. And if you have a 401k match, which most companies do, some don't, is you'll look and you'll ask them what happens if you max out your 401k early. And what happens with our, the company that I work for is they do a true up at year end. And I did the math on that. So essentially... They match me until if I was to max out and then the rest of the year, they don't match. But at the, at the tail end of the year, they give me, they do a true up and they essentially give me what I would have been matched all year long if I would have spread it out. That's ideally what most companies do. I think it, they all do that. But you want to ask because if they don't do that, all this math, ignore it. Because so, that, that changes things because your match, <coughs> excuse me, your match will essentially tell you um, if it makes sense. So uh, the match, if as long as you're getting the match through the year and you, if you front load, it still makes sense. So the math works out. But check out, I have a spreadsheet down in the link below. You can plug in your own numbers however you want. Um, you want to make sure if you're in this only front loading only works if you're maxing and your HR matches. So that's the only thing that happens. Front loading does also work if you're keeping your, uh, if let's say it's a 6% they match throughout the whole year and you can't give, you know, I'll say 6% the whole year, or you can't, if you're giving over 6%, then you still want to front load that extra amount. That gets a little bit more complicated. So let's say you do 8% for January, February, March, and then you do 6% the rest of the year. So you want to definitely get that 401k match from your company. So that's the minimum you want to do. Uh, assuming you're past the match and you're hitting the max, you want to front load it because um, you, you'll just be better off in the long run and that your balance will help. It'll show it. So again, there's an article down below you can check out too. Google Spreadsheet, take a copy of it and use it. Take a, put your own numbers in there for whatever works for you. But um, yeah, you'll see definitely it helps a lot. So it's a good thing. So good luck. And um, we'll keep growing together and we'll see you next episode.